Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a game between Anishgiri and Hui Fan. The game was played in Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2018 Round 1. Let's see the game. White starts with e4 and black replies with e5. Knight to f3 attacking the pawn and knight to f6. We have the patch of defense. Knight takes on e5, d6 attacking the knight and the knight goes back to f3. Knight takes on e4 and knight to c3. And with this move we have the Nimzovich attack. And here black took on c3 and white recaptured with the d-pawn. Black continues with bishop to e7, developing move, and it seems that black wants to castle short. Bishop to e3 and knight to c6. Bishop to d3, the last minor piece is developed, and bishop to e6. Both players have developed their minor pieces. Queen to e2, preparing long castle. Bishop to f6, placing the bishop on a better diagonal. Long castle, and with this move, white finishes development. The king is saved, the rooks are connected, and all the other minor pieces are developed. It seems that black wants to castle long as well. If short castle, we would have a sharp game. And here, black cannot take on a2 because the bishop would be trapped after b3. Let's see that line. Bishop takes on a2, b3 and a5. King to b2, a4, king takes on a2, a takes on b3 check and king takes on b3. This line is good for white. In the game we had queen to e7 and king to b1 protecting a2 and the king is safer on this square a6 controlling b5 and preventing bishop to b5 rook h to e1 the last piece comes into the game and white rooks are centralized long castle and black finishes opening h3 controlling g4 square rook h to e8 black centralized his rooks and g4 expanding on the king side and preparing g5 attacking the bishop a6 stops g5 and here white needs to attack but for the moment he needs to improve the position of his pieces the only piece that could be improved is the knight that could go to d2 c4 and a5 and from here in some lines the bishop from d3 can sacrifice itself on a6. In the game, white started to realize this plan with knight to d2, and black continued with bishop to g5, trying to exchange a pair of pieces. And white played f4. For the moment, white doesn't want to, to trade and expands more on the king side. Bishop to h4, attacking the rook, and bishop to f2, and the pair of pieces is exchange. And now white threatens f5, getting the bishop. That's why in the game, black played queen to f8, f5, attacking the bishop, bishop to d7, and f6, trying to create some weaknesses in black camp. And black cannot take on f6, because he would have double pawns and an isolated pawn on h6. That's why in the game, he pushed g6. As we can see, this pawn is like a thorn in black back. This pawn controls e7 and g7 squares. Bishop to e4 threatens to take the knight and then the queen can enter to a7. King to b8 preventing white plan and white continues with his plan of getting the knight closer to black position and he played knight to c4. Rook to e6 attacking the pawn from at f6 and intends to double on the e-file attacking the bishop and the rook. That's why the bishop took the knight and rook takes on e1. Rook takes on e1 and black took with the bishop on c6. Knight to a5 attacking the bishop, rook to e8. Black is contesting the e-file and white takes the bishop inflicting some weaknesses in black camp. Black has three pawn islands and two double pawns on the c-file. In an endgame we need to attack opponent weak pawns or to push our pass pawns. White for the moment has no pass pawns so he need to attack black weaknesses. e6, c7, c6, f7 
and h6. So we have queen to g3. Another way was to attack the pawn from a6 with queen to f1. Queen to h8, attacking the pawn. And rook to e7. Black cannot take the pawn with the queen because his rook will drop. That's why black exchanged the rooks and white has a pass pawn and it's one square from queening. Queen to e8 attacking the pawn and queen to e3 defending and also looking at the pawn from h6. And here black brings his king closer to this pawn to take it h4 trying to create a pass pawn on the h file after white captures the pawn from a6 king to d7 queen takes on h6 and queen takes on e7 for the moment black is threatening mate on e1 that's why white pushed b3 defending against this threat and queen to e4 looking at the pawn from g4 g5 pushing that pawn and queen to e5 attacking the pawn from c3 and white played queen to f8 attacking the pawn from f7 leaving the c3 pawn undefended taking on c3 is not good because white will remain with two connected passed pawns let's see that line queen takes on c3 queen takes on f7 check king to c8 and queen takes on g6 and in this position white is winning due to his two connected passed pawns so in the game after queen to f8 black played queen to d5 protecting the pawn and king to b2 the king is safer on this position and it's defending the c3 pawn c5 this position is equal for the moment and white continue with queen to g8 staying close to the f7 pawn and black defended the pawn with queen to f3 queen to f8 queen to d5 looking again the players are shuffling their queens attacking and defending this f7 pawn in order to get to the 4t move into g7 queen to f5 queen to g8 queen to f3 4t move was reached and in this moment white pushed a4 in order to fix the weakness from the a file queen to f1 queen to f8 f5 and queen to a8 attacking the a6 pawn and black defended with queen to f1 queen to e4 centralizing the queen king to d8 queen to g4 intending to push h5 and here black pushed d5 a5 and the a6 pawn is fixed queen to e1 h5 g takes on h5 and queen takes on h5 queen to e6 preventing white from pushing g6 queen to h8 check King to e7 and b4. C takes and b takes on and c takes on b4. And here white and black manage to get rid of their double pawns. King to d7, queen to d4, centralizing again the queen. King to c8 and queen to f6. White it's forcing the queen trade. And for the moment we have a draw. But the game continues. King to d7, king to b3. And in this mom moment, Black made the move and the game is lost. In the game, black played king to c6. But first, let's look at the other options. Black could play here king to d6, king to e6 or c6. Let's see them one by one. For example, if we have king to e6, the problem with this move is that the king is too far away from the a pawn and white can play b5 and the a pawn is queening so after b5 king to d7 trying to go back b takes on a6 king to c8 c3 fixing the d pawn and white king can go and take the pawns the one from c7 or the one from f7 so white is winning here let's see the other move c6 the problem with this move is that the white king can go and capture one of the weak pawns. For example, king to c3, king to d6, king to d4, king to c7, king to c5, d4, king takes, king to d6, king to c4, 
king to e6, king to king to d7, king to b6, and white grabs a pawn and he's queening. The last move that we should look is king to d6. If white tries any of the ideas mentioned above, b5, c4, and king to c3, trying to get into black position, this is not working. For example, if, if we look at c4, then we have d takes on c4, king takes c6, king to d4, king to d7, king to c5, and king to d7, and this is a draw. None of the players can make any progress here. So the second option is b5, black takes, king to b4, c6, a6, king to c7, trying to get the pawn, king to c5, d4, king takes, king to b6, and a7, king takes, king to c5, king to b7, king to d6, trying to go to get the f pawn, but we have b4, king to c5, coming back after this pawn, king to c7, king takes on b4, king to d6, c4, king to e6, king to c5, king takes, king takes, king to e5, c5, f5, and <coughs> both pawns will queen, and this is a draw. The last option is king to c3, and after c5, b takes on c5, king takes, king to d3, king to b5, king to d4, king to c6, c4, d takes, king takes, king to d6, king to d4, and it's a draw. So, as we can see, the best move in this position was king to d6 instead of king to c6. So, in the game, we had king to c6, and here, why continue with c4, d4, king to c2, king to d6, king to d2. White is getting the opposition, king to d3 would be a big blunder and the game with and in a draw because black king can get the opposition for example with king to d3 c5 b5 a takes c takes king to c7 king to c4 king to b7 and white cannot take the pawn from c5 because the t pawn will queen for example after a king to d3 uh, they have to to repeat the position so in the game we had king to d2 c6 king to e2, staying on the light square, king to d7, and king to d3, getting the opposition again, king to c7, the king is on the black square, and white can take the pawn, king to d6, and here white made the triangulation with the king, and after this black resigned, because he will lose all his pawns, and white will queen, so white king will just this. So after king to d3, king to c7, king to e4, king to d6, king to d4, and black king has to go back. And in this position black resigned. I hope that you learned something from this game. Please watch other games from my channel. And if you like this video clip, please click the like button and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.